الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وسيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم على إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. Today we are going to have Sayyid Sheikh Abdul Qadir Gailani. May Allah hafizahu Allah. May Allah prolong his life and give us the blessings whilst he's amongst us, inshallah. My, I just want to mention three brief points. One of them before me have talk, spoken about the Ahlul Bayt Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what sacrifices they've done for the Ummah. And uh, it is very true that Sayyid Peer Mary Shah, Sayyid Jamaat Ali Shah, and the answers of Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jalani, what they have spread in Islam throughout the world. The Ahlul Bayt is not just to be considered as the progeny of the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. We have to realize how Islam spread all the way to Indonesia, to Malaysia, to Africa. It was not ordinary men who went to spread Islam there. It was the Ahlul Bayt of Rasulullah They were Hasni and Hussein Sayyids. Now, Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Gilani Qadr Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is in Baghdad, but he's naive to spread Islam in India. Who was it? Fajr Ibn Ibn Nawaz, Muhyiddin Chishti, Rahmatullah. He was a great patron saint of India. Coming back to Hazrat uh, Bose Azam, there was a very famous incident which I want to narrate so that people who are affiliated to Qadri Silsala or are murids of Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jalani, they understand what is the maqam of having a sheikh and a moshad or a murabi. <coughs> One of the murids, there was a, there was a famous sheikh in Baghdad at the time uh, of Bose Park. His name was Sheikh Hamad. So he, one of the uh, uh, students or murids of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jirani came to Sheikh Hamad and he said, uh, I'm going to do tijarat to Syria, so give me ijazah, will I be successful if I go there? Because I've already invested so much money. He did some muraqba, he said, no. When you go to do tijarah, you lose money and you'll be killed, you'll be murdered. So murid said, what is this? So he went to Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jirani, his own peer. He went to him and said, Abdul Qadir he closed his eyes for a few seconds. He said, yes, go and you'll be successful. <laughs> the difference is that Sheikh Hamad is a great wali as well, contemporary of Ghost Park. But the peer says, go and you'll be successful. <laughs> is he Yaqeen Kamal or Peer Kamal? <laughs> so this student, he goes to Syria, he gives the money, buys whatever he needs to buy with the camel load. It used to take months to arrive to Baghdad. In the way he stopped to take a break, he went to sleep to take a rest and he sees a dream that some thieves come and they, they take all of his stuff. They took everything and then they took a sword out and cut his head off. As they were cutting his head off, he died. Straight away he panicked. What is this? Straight away got his on his horse, got his camels, went to Baghdad. When he arrived in Baghdad Sharif, he said, let me see Sheikh Hamad first. Not Ghost Park. Let's see Sheikh Hamad first. So he sees Sheikh Hamad and Sheikh Hamad looks at him and smiles. Now this is something very important. You have to take a point here. He looks at this student who he said that he won't be successful, he will be murdered. When the Sheikh Hamad looks at him and he says, wow, subhanallah. Okay. Come forward please because make way so people come and sit up front. So when this student arrives back, Sheikh Hamad looks at him, he said, Wah, subhanallah, you have a, a great wali, a great murshid who, has, who changed your destiny. He smiled and Sheikh Hamad knew what had happened because he had the ilham, right? But he said, your, your Sheikh has changed your destiny because when they had killed, when they, were, when they looted you and they took your head off, but Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Gailani made that happen as a reality into a dream. So you weren't killed. This is a great wali of Abdul Qadir Gailani. And final point, if you go to Baghdad Street, even to today, maybe you are not aware of, Azu Gose Azam had a murid, and he's still there. The murid was a snake, and the snake's name was Masood. Allah ke waliyo ke paas jinnat bhi aate hai. In different forms. And the jinn's name was Masood. 
And uh, the previous Nakib, who was a very close uh, shape of mine, Sayyid Abdul Rahman, he told me the story himself. He said he was five years old, and his father, Sayyid Abdul Rahman's father, he said he used to see this snake come out of Jali Mubarak of Oost Park with his own eyes. This snake was centuries old. And he says, I used to see it, and my father used to take a bowl of milk and give it to the snake. I used, to, I used to get frightened. What is this? My father is feeding milk to a snake. Then when I grew up, my father told me that snake that he used to see was a jinn of Ghost Park. Who was a servant of Ghost Park, used to, guard, used to protect Ghost Park's masjid. And his name was Masood. Arvi Adarus Ghost Park in Mazarbi died. He's framed up the skeleton of Ghost Park's uh, uh, jinn. And I have a photograph just to show you. Uh, his name is Masood. Here. This is the skeleton of Ghost Fox. Ghost Fox. The Jin Town of Murita. Ye Unka hai. Masood. Unka naam tha Masood. So, only Allah, we are blessed to have them in our lives. For jo nahi maante na maane. Lekin jo maante hum ko maane maane hai. So may Allah bless Sayyidina Muhammad the Jilani, may Allah bless Ramzan to have a beautiful gathering and may Allah bless you with beautiful children uh, like Sayyidina Muhammad the Jilani. Qadda sallahu sallahu. Jazakumullah khair.